my best paintings were paintings where I was not fully in control of what I was doing. Um, there was this very, very compulsive, intuitive element. Compulsive because I just had to do it. If I didn't do it, I would feel terrible. So it's like a compulsion. But it's a strong stream of intuition. But I, well, intellectually, I know that this intuition can only exist also because I have a lot of technique. So after many years of training, painting becomes a second language. You know, I don't think about it anymore when I'm painting. It's just very automatic. The brush strokes go to the place I want them to go. I mix exactly the color that I'm imagining. Things flow very easily because of technique. But technique alone does not create channeling. There are some emotional states that I cannot control where I produce the best paintings of my life. And on those emotional states, I am shocked to discover that the public sees things that I didn't see consciously while I was painting. But when they tell me what's on the image, I'm like, wow, it's true, it's there. Recently, when I was an artist in residence for the National Museum of Contemporary Art, I did a whole series of paintings about a marvelous sculpture, which is called The Exiled. The Exiled was made in the 19th century by the Portuguese Michelangelo. His name was Soares dos Reis. Soares dos Reis committed suicide when he was 40-something years old. But The Exiled was made when Soares dos Reis was young. And it's a masterpiece. It's one of the best sculptures I've ever seen in my entire life. And when I was painting The Exiled, I painted the white marble, but on my painting, it's only shades of black. This by itself is already very telling. But it was just free association of ideas. I had the compulsion of portraying The Exiled in shades of black. But what I didn't notice I was doing is that I painted symbols around the exiled because I was in a state of trance. And I painted animals, I painted objects, which were the exiled's thoughts. So there was a myriad of symbols around his face. There were landscapes, there were Aldereza, I was not consciously aware that I was doing that. I thought I was just painting the sculpture and translating it into a different palette. But all the symbols were there. Now, this is not the first time that it happens to me, and it's definitely not the first time that I hear it from other artists. The unconscious was working through me in the painting process. And I cannot describe the feelings. The only thing I can say is that time vanished. So I don't remember how many hours I spent on the painting. There is no sense of time. And I vanished. The ego disappeared. It's like if I fused with the paint itself and with the brush. So the brush became me. My ego was in the brush. Nelson as the artist is secondary. Nelson as the artist disappeared temporarily. And it was the hand moving automatically and creating gestures and symbols and meanings. 